Welcome to Seychelles. An amazing group of islands with stunning white sandy beaches and gorgeous marine ecosystems. It's home to extraordinary species, many of whom live on the coral reefs scattered around the islands. These reefs are a hotspot of diversity and play a crucial role in many ecosystem services. But they are currently severely threatened by human impacts. The most important one plaguing the reefs here in Seychelles is global warming. The high sea surface temperatures that can reach up to 34 degrees Celsius cause the corals to bleach. If these conditions last too long, the coral reefs die from the bleaching effect. This is what happened in 1998, where 75% of all corals died. And it happened again in 2016, where 90% of all corals in Seychelles died. These bleaching events seem to be occurring more often and in faster intervals, leaving the surviving reefs little time to recover. Luckily, parts of the coral reefs have survived and some areas are recovering. But if these impacts are not addressed and fixed, their future looks dire. In order to help the reefs recover, organizations like the Marine Conservation Society Seychelles have set up reef rehabilitation projects all over the islands. For the rehabilitation, heat-resistant coral fragments are grown and then transplanted back onto damaged areas. One way of growing these fragments is in ocean-based in situ nurseries. Here, fragments are suspended on ropes and left to grow. The optimal conditions this provides allows them to grow several times faster than usual. Another way of growing them is on land-based ex situ nurseries. Here, the fragments are attached to small rocks and then left to grow in tanks. Filter and cooling systems provide these tanks with constant optimal conditions. This causes the fragments to also grow at accelerated rates. When the fragments reach the right size, they are reattached to damaged areas or to artificial reefs. These man-made structures provide a stable platform for the corals to grow on when the underground has turned to rubble. The construction also acts as a sanctuary for smaller reef fish. It provides them with shelter from predators like white reef sharks. Monitoring of the coral reefs is another crucial part of conservation efforts. It allows scientists to assess the current health of the reefs and how that has changed over time. The health is measured through the amount of new coral recruits, what species are present, and many other parameters. The data this monitoring provides then helps with creating new marine policies that can further protect these vulnerable ecosystems. All of these efforts help us preserve these wonders of nature. Hopefully, this way, the next generations will still be able to experience these amazing sights. Thank you.